All right, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, everybody. We've cleared the free main stories and the final episode, but we have now unlocked the secret episode, which is a little bonus content that was added for the PS4 HD remake of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Or actually, I think it was just added to Birth by Sleep Final Mix in general, because this was also on the PS3. Just had a very much, much lower... Uh, <laughs> lower performance. It was uh, 30 FPS, and also the uh, loading times were a lot worse. Like, even just delinking someone, delinking is pretty much instantaneous in the PS4 version. In the PS3 version, if you wanted to delink someone, you would have to wait like 10 seconds for the delink to actually go off. It was crazy. Anyhow, secret episode you only get, I believe, if you play on critical mode, and only if you finish every all these other areas. So let's start and play the secret episode. We should get some more lore reveals, and there's just a little bit of extra content. Hidden Truths Darkness rules your heart. It gives me control. Muscle and sinew that once obeyed you now rebels against you. How you can remain here at all confounds the mind. It's still my heart. Do you think you can just come in and take over? I'm not gonna sit by and let that happen. <laughs> Don't even entertain any notions of escaping me, boy. In the end, your heart will be engulfed by mine forever. Wrong. You're gonna get shown the door, old man. As I recall, you couldn't even handle your own darkness. How then will you triumph over mine? <laughs> well, you'll find out soon enough. Oh, so that's how it is, is it? Someone else has set foot in your heart. Ericus, you sly fox. I'm not afraid of what the darkness holds now. Even if you do wrest control of my heart from me. Even if you cast me into the deepest, darkest abyss. You'll never sway me from the one cause that pushes me to keep on fighting. Whatever the cost, I'm ready to pay it. Brave words, to be sure. But I'm a patient man. We can take as much time as we need to settle this little property dispute. However, know this. You are just one of many roads that I might choose to take. Trust me, I made certain of that. <laughs> Image of their backs preserved in memory. So that scene was implying that while Xehanort exists now within Terra's heart, which is how he was able to take control of Terra's body, Ericus also put himself in Terra's heart. And you saw that during Ericus's death when he kind of fell into Terra's arms and then just disappeared into light. The exact same way that Kyrie did in Kingdom Hearts 1 when she put her heart inside of Sora's for safekeeping. So that was, that's a cool little twist there. I like that. I don't like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Remember him from the Kingdom Hearts 2 flashback? Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. <laughs> tell me about it. Hey, you're not Terra. Just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back. Okay, a little strange. <laughs> I don't know why Brig is like, oh yeah, I'm buddy buddy with Xehanort now. Like, I, I, my anticipation was like, he, he, I thought that like he was working for Xehanort just because Xehanort was like paying him or something. He's like, ah, I got this kid that's terrible and I need you to uh, pretend to kidnap me and attack him. And he's like, okay, I'll do it if you pay me $50. <laughs> but then like, why is he like, even now after he got like disfigured, just like helping Xehanort out. Also, how does he, how did if he's working for Ansem the Wise, how did he explain that? It's just like, 
Brag, what is going on? Why do you now have an eye patch and a bunch of scars? Oh, you, you, well, you know, Ansem, like stuff sometimes happens, you know. I was out playing in the street, then I tripped and fell on a stick, and uh, yeah, you expect me to believe you got a scar and lost your eye because you fell on a stick? Oh man, look at the time! Dragon Tails is on. <laughs> Aw. Ansem and Anzo are eating ice cream together. <laughs> this ice cream is salty. It's terrible. But it's my favorite flavor. Hmm? Who the heck were those guys back there? And why did they want to watch Dragon Tales if they're grown adults? Hmm. That is troubling. <laughs> Hang on a second. Sorry about that. For some reason, sometimes when I laugh, I just always get hiccups, and I gotta cure those. <laughs> that is very troubling. Why does that happen? Two who were never meant to meet. So this is now in the future. Oh, he does not look happy now. This is when Ansem is trapped in the realm of darkness. Who are you? Hmm? Why, hello. It's not often I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores. But unfortunately, much like the first, I do not remember who I am or whence I came. Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time, wandering through the endless hours, unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends? Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with Keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Neither of those, I'm afraid. His name is Xehanor. What? Should have known. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. I felt something must be done. Was that why? A means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct? While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe, maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts. He could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. 
So many are still waiting for their new beginning. Their birth by sleep. Hey, that's the name of the even game. Me. And even you. What's this boy's name? His name is... All the pieces lie where they fell. Yeah, so that scene takes place after Kingdom Hearts 2. Also, that's one thing. So, so, both Sora and Riku get trapped in the Realm of Darkness at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. And Riku got trapped in the Realm of Darkness with Mickey after Kingdom Hearts 1. And they all of them managed to escape easily. And Aqua's just like, I can't find a way out. <laughs> well, Aqua, maybe try a little harder. Yes, it's best girl. Sora. That's his name. Still don't know why Roxas looks like Ventus and not Sora. Oh, hey! Wait, who's that girl over there? I think I've seen her before, but... I don't remember her. Hmm. Weird. Sora. I, I heard his name the first time. Hey, what's the Land of Departure doing here? It's Castle Oblivion now. Why is he just sleeping in the lawn chair? Tara. He's back to normal now, apparently. And then wakes up. Sora. How do you know his name? This is getting a little weird. Sora's a kid, not like, a, not some deity, okay? Okay, Aqua, really, you're, you're crying about that? She's like, I met that kid for five seconds once. I told him to follow Riku. Sora. This is, this is a little corny. And normally I like corny, but this seems a bit much. Where they wait for him. I already forgot what the previous sentences were. <laughs> if Sora says his own name, that's that's too much. Oh nope, Sora's sad. He's like, stop saying my name, okay? Sora. I just said Rico. I literally just said. Riku. Your mind's made up. Yeah. Even if the models sometimes look good, the backgrounds definitely let remind you that this was a PSP game. Oh, hey, Kyrie. Sora. Stop saying my name. <laughs> well, I guess I don't mind if you do it, Kyrie. It's just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> so, what are you talking about? Here. See you soon. Make sure you take my Oathkeeper Keyblade. Reconnect Kingdom Hearts. Is Kingdom Hearts a social media site now or what? Reconnect. Is that a command or like a, a catchphrase?
Did you think that this was a... Uh, did I say this was a let's play? My mistake. This is let's watch a movie. Now they're kids again. One. That was Kingdom Hearts 1. Yes. You know, th the timeline's really out of whack right now. Zero. Let's rewind. For some reason. Because we don't know how to make the story proper. Zero point. Correct! This has zero point. You are correct, game. There is zero point to making the timeline this convoluted. As long as you're with me, I'll always find my way back. Always. So this is now cutting back to right after Ven and Terra's Keyblade showed up and killed all the dark sides for her. Still don't know how that happened. Still don't know why we had to watch all the cutscenes that happened after, after this before we get to do this, but whatever. Well, that's normal. Maybe don't... What is going on? Exactly, Aqua. What were the writers of Kingdom Hearts thinking? 0.5. That's one way to do an advertisement for a new Kingdom Hearts game. Kingdom Hearts 0 0.5. And we get a map of the Realm of Darkness. Don't know how. Maybe Aqua wrote it herself. Or maybe maybe we found it in a big chest. I don't know, but someone wrote this map. So here we go. The secret episode is we get to walk around and explore the Realm of Darkness. Which is kind of cool. Also, we have a new item here, the Master's Defender. The Keyblade belonging to Master Ericus. It boosts all of your stats. And we actually cannot equip any of our other Keyblades. We have to equip this one, which is fine. This one has the best stats, seven strength, seven magic. So, sweet. Do we have a new report? New treasures, okay. There are eight treasures in the Realm of Darkness. Who are, who's putting treasure chests here? There's only supposed to be uh, enemies in here. No intelligent life. And here we go! No longer are we fighting the Unversed, but now we got Heartless. And they are powerful. Be cool. Have the power of teleporting McGee. You can't stand up against this. Get out of here. That's what I thought. Oh no, the darkness is changing. I can't handle that. I like this. I like getting to explore the Realm of Darkness. It's a cool extra that they put in. Dark Balls are back! The evil onions have sprouted once more. Luckily, they're no match for Aqua, who is this powerful. Excuse me.
Yes, you're supposed to use these as trampolines. No joke. Balloon letter. Well, speaking of which, it's been a while since we've dealing Ventus. It's also been a while since we've dealing Terra, but oh well, whatever. I love the Ventus dealing. Especially since Aqua is actually pretty powerful now. This is why Aqua was made the master at the beginning. Because she really is the master. Good job, Aqua. Okay, actually this is the way we're supposed to go and I completely ignored an entire side passage, so... Not going here. Is that the way we're supposed to go? I love the music in the Realm of Darkness too. It's really good. So dead, I have Rhythm Mixer, you fools. No, for treasure chest, zero Gravaga. That's fitting, it is the closest thing to a dark command that Aqua gets. So the Realm of Darkness is a little bit of a maze. I don't exactly know my way through. Ha 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 ha! Good job. Also, I'm gonna equip the light bloom because I think we definitely need a light in the darkness. Also occurs to me that we haven't really used it for real means. We just tested it out. Well, we definitely dealt a lot of damage. Alright, teleporting McGee! Give me strength! Zack, I need your power. I was hoping to get his finisher, but oh well. We'll try to de-link Zack later. Blackout! Oh good, another dark base command. This definitely looks... Oh, we got a big battle incoming, I do believe. Alright, Zack. Sorry I wasn't able to date you, but... That's Zack's attack deflector happening. The attack deflector will just basically automatically block a lot of the physical attacks. Not all of them, but a lot of them. All right, <laughs> eat my Omni Slash or Octo Slash, actually. Great job. You know, we haven't seen Cinderella in a while. Oh, Enchanted Step. You mean Barrier Surge? <laughs> Oh, I do think we're going to the ball! <laughs> Aqua, I know you missed prom by being sucked into the realm of darkness, but that doesn't mean you still can't get it down on the dance floor.
Oh man, we didn't fill up our D-Link gauge again. Okay, this map is more than just a little bit confusing, I gotta say. You look looking at the map. Oh yeah, it's real clear which way to go. What are you talking about? Bashful will deal with you real quick. No! Bashful! Well, Bashful doesn't work all the time. Seven dwarves, help me! Seven Dwarves, you, you, you literally missed them. Good job. Trying to find where the place I didn't enter links up with here. Terra, I could use your help now, even though you're kind of the reason I'm here in the first place. Transitively. Terra's auto block is also helping me out with the uh, deflecting of physical attacks. Wow, it would not let me revert. It's like auto block encounter? You betcha. We gotcha. Okay. The pathway over on the left side with that red rectangle is really high up. Alright, how about Peter Pan? I like how Peter Pan builds up the, uh, the command gauge more if you do air attacks. That actually is very much in line with Peter Pan. Due to him, you know, flying around everywhere and stabbing people. Aho! Uh -huh. <laughs> Here we go. You know, Mickey... I could use your help, too. That double EXP of yours. Do we have anything in here that's actually, like, good? Sign of Faith is pretty good, I guess. Most of Mickey's commands kind of suck, though. It's like, oh boy, Binding Strike. Oh boy, Sliding Dash. <laughs> Stun Edge? Yay. Alright, maybe not Mickey, maybe... Donald! Cause McDonald. <laughs> Donald's like, excuse, are you gonna like the fireworks or not? Wow, that is one long finisher. Oh, we didn't even defeat all the enemies. Okay, doofus, you forgot about us. Oh, man, they aren't dropping dealing prizes for me. Guess teleporting McGee will have to do. I love how the enemies are just far too stupid to avoid the mines you plant in the ground with your mine commands. 
Oh, hey, we destroyed those two portals, so now these weird platform vines appeared. Let's take advantage of that. I'm also still on the hunt for those remaining treasures. Uh-oh. Whew. There's one. Grab it. A secret gem. Oh, boy. Character files? Really? Shadow, Neo, Shadow, and Dark Ball. Those are heartless. They're not really... people. Uh-oh, I missed a chest. Because of course I did. But I missed it back in the first room. Aha, here we go. We're in the lower zone, apparently. But we got the Chaos Crystal. So that's pretty nice. Wait, this is literally where I was... Okay, for some reason, when I went through the different entryway, I dropped in the same place. But there was a treasure chest that time. Okay. Or maybe it was a different place that I just never looked. Sure seemed like the same place, though. Well, regardless, we got the treasure chest. Nice little gymnastics exercise, right? Okay. Yeah. Hey. I don't remember inviting the evil of onions into gymnastics class with me. Oh man, I wasted Telmorkin McGee's powers from for nothing. Ooh. Now this place looks pretty. Hey Pete, I know you and I aren't on speaking terms really, but uh, I really want some money. Oh, you fools. You foolish, heartless. I've got a new ride. Well, this was fun playing the bumper cars. Yeah. How about over here? I know I D-Link Stitch a bunch for, uh... Command leveling. So we won't we won't stay a stitch for very long. But there, he got he got his time in the limelight as well. A mega elixir? Yay! <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. Triple Firaga? Cool, now I have eight of them. I can have a whole command, can have a whole set of commands filled with triple Firaga. All right, Goofy, here you go. Darn it, I didn't get to do Goofy's finisher. Well, that stinks. Let's do Kiraga. Hey, let me in. Why won't you let me in? Ah, that's why.
Bye bye. How did I miss both of these dark portals? You're not pushing me off a cliff. Here we are. Now the portal disappears. Oh boy, Ghost Drive. I don't want Ghost Drive. In fact, we're gonna wait for Ghost Drive to disappear before we walk into that new area. Ghost Drive looks cool, but it's not. It It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Don't you want to be able to teleport around with no invincibility frames? No. No, I do not. Alright, here we are. Defeat all enemies. All of them? All of them. Alright. Then this is where we officially get goofy. Boy, 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 boy. Oh, yuck! Good job, Goof. I'm not in the mood for games, Heartless. Oh, Riven Mixer. Heck yes. Goodbye. Unless the shadows stay underground for the entire thing. What time is it? It's magic hour. I already have too many potions to be able to hit, hold anymore. Take this! Still just keep on coming. There we go. That's the last of them. Man, Aqua kicked butt. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Goof! Oh, <laughs> yup. Ooh. Yes, let's move towards that creepy, old, twisting, snarling passageway. This is where we'll meet a new friend. Uh, I don't like this. Here we go. This monster, this is no unverse. Just a dweller of darkness. Yep, here we go. The true final boss of Birth by Sleep. Defeat the enemy. This is Dark Hide. A ravenous rabid, monstrous, heartless. Who is going to stalk us with his laser vision? And we are basically just going to lie low and cartwheel out of the way when he comes in and try to lure him into our seeker mine. And shot lock him when he goes on screen. Well, that didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, never mind. That dealt a lot of damage. Even at the end there. Here we are! Yep. That's Darkhide. Like a heartless dog with, uh, chains on him. I'm gonna have to use all of the stuff at our disposal in order to deal with Darkhide, because he's extremely fast. Hits rapidly and hits hard. 
And you definitely are going to want max level cartwheel for this fight to avoid his attacks. This is where the mines come in handy. Well, one of the many places where the mines come in handy. Let's shot lock him. Let's get a better angle at him, though. See, max level cartwheel doesn't even make sense why it's so good at avoiding damage, but it is. It's also very hard to lock onto this guy because he's so fast it'll auto unlock off of him. Also, apparently I can't counter this guy. Alright, that's it. Oh, did I re-equip Teleport? I didn't want to re-equip Teleport. Alright, he's low on HP now. Oh, yuck. I forgot about this phase. Um, did he interrupt my Kiraga even though I have Leaf Bracer? Alright, Ventus. You and your D-Link are gonna have to help me out now. Wow, even the Air Dive finisher isn't doing anything. There we go. There we go! Ventus, thank you. <laughs> and that's Darkhide. Fragmentary Passage. Birth by Sleep, Volume 2. This whole secret episode is basically just an advertisement for a different Kingdom Hearts game. The end! Yeah, that ended uh, very, very suddenly, huh? <laughs> Didn't really change anything from last time, but whatever. It's still a fun little extra mode, and I like exploring the Realm of Darkness, so there we go. Why, yes, I would love to overwrite this save data. I beat the secret episode. Clear set data save. Be sure to hang on to this clear data. You may find a use for it down the line. Shut up! How many times are you going to tell me this? But you might find a use for it. This is like me every time I play any kind of game where there are rare items. It's like, oh, I can't use the Mega Elixir. I might need it later. It's literally the final fight of the game. But I might need it later. What if there are bonus bosses? It's the final bonus boss. But what if there's another one? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm terrible with that. Anyhow, that is it for all of the main stories and episodes of Ber Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. All that's left is to go back to each character's story, finish up the Mirage Arenas, and beat all the bonus bosses. Mm. Well, that's gonna be good. Definitely want to tune in for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.